is Vancouver Island Report. Good evening. Thanks for being here. A proposed class action lawsuit has been filed against the RCMP and it has its roots in Nanaimo. The suit claims that female officers across the country have been subjected to sexual harassment and gender-based discrimination for decades in RCMP detachments from coast to coast. The lawyer who filed the claim says as many as 150 women are ready to sign on, but for now the representing plaintiff is Janet Merlo, a former RCMP officer in Nanaimo. CTV Scott Cunningham has the story. It's business as usual at the Nanaimo RCMP detachment, but one former Mountie says business here left her traumatized and unable to continue with a career in law enforcement. And Janet was with the force for 20 years and during that time was subjected to uh, sexual harassment, practical jokes, uh, a double standard. Janet Merlot has taken aim at the RCMP, filing a landmark lawsuit. Among Janet Merlot's claims are that a supervising officer would routinely position a naked female doll next to his desk and on several occasions would ask Merlot to stand next to the doll. She says the supervising corporal was never punished. It seems that uh, men in the RCMP resented the fact that women were now allowed onto the force. Merlot says hurtful pranks were just the beginning. She also claims becoming pregnant made her a key target for harassment, saying commanding officers would ask her, what are we supposed to do with you now? The city of Nanaimo looks upon this as uh, an internal RCMP matter. As City Hall puts some distance between itself and the RCMP, Nanaimo's mayor is also assuring the public that any type of discrimination is not welcome in his city. We have equality in this day of age, and uh, it's important that everyone's treated equally. And uh, these are unfortunate incidents that happen, um, and uh, I'd like to think of them as, as isolated. Leaving the force and decades of alleged harassment behind, the woman at the center of a landmark lawsuit now runs a home daycare. The the former Nanaimo RCMP officer would not give an on-camera interview, but off-camera told CTV News through tears that today has been overwhelming. Nanaimo RCMP are not talking. RCMP headquarters in Ottawa didn't offer much more. Mounties only saying they would not comment on a case that is before the courts. Right now, Merlot is the only plaintiff named, but says her story is shared by hundreds of women who may become part of the landmark class action suit. Even with overwhelming support, creating the case could take up to two years. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Nanaimo.